mi gusto es y quién me lo va a quitar. Solamente Dios del cielo me lo quita, mi gusto es. Aunque me den de balazos, topen esa, topen esa, que al cabo mi gusto es. Pero chiquitita, yo te de seguir los pasos a donde estés. Bitch, what the fuck is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez, the one, the only. Bird motherfucking Tines, bitch. Say it louder for the bitches in the back. All the bitches in the back. All the fucking puta sucias in the puta sucias in the sucias in the Andy, like, are you so excited for your birthday? Yes. I need to figure out the cake. I was just thinking about the cake. I was gonna say the cupcakes. Why didn't I just bring a bunch of cupcakes? The cake. No, it's giving me eyebrows on this stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to figure out the, the cake and luego I want to have some recuerdos for las mesas. Mm -hmm. We need to figure, we need to get on it. And I need to ask people because I'm going to go on my Snapchat. But anyway, today's video is about some birria. And I know there's a million, a thousand, there's so many videos in the world. The pinche birria. No, I love birria. And, um... Why is this video special? Birria is so much more than a trend. In this video, you will find out that birria has a history and a purpose and something so beautiful. So if you want to go for the motherfucking ride, get on this motherfucking train and choo choo, motherfuckers. Bitch, so for this ex, for this ex, for this exquisite amazing oloroso sabroso espinoso dish um the ingredients are okay ingrediente numero uno whole black peppers whole black pepper okay i know you could use like regular black pepper but it's not the same because this one we're gonna crush it so we need big black pepper um black peppercorns that's what they call it we're also gonna use laurel leaves, bay leaves, or whatever. Ahí está. Of course, my little horse, we're gonna use oregano. I don't know, but like the Mexican oregano hits different. Que no, Sofia? What? The Mexican oregano hits different? It does. It really does. By the way, Sofia, la tortilla over there, she's make, making um, cinnamon rolls. My little girl, she's always doing her own thing. We're also gonna use whole cloves, clavos. These are good for like if you have a toothache. Um, the other day, Mario had a cold sore. So what you do is get the um, the clavo or the clove, you break it in half and you put it wherever your like tooth hurts or whatever hurts. We're also gonna use whole cumin, comino entero. Of course, my little horse, we're gonna use mejorana marjoram. We are also going to use um, ancho pasilla, pasilla ancho chili pods. I stand. We are gonna use onion. We're gonna use ah, chingadera y media. Um, vinegar, white vinegar. We're gonna use jengibre. How the fuck do you call it in English? Ginger? No, jengibre. And the most important ingredient of all time, bitch. Mm -mm -mm. My beautiful, amazing chile guajillo. Chile guajillo is very important because it's what gives it the flavor, I believe. And um, it smells amazing. As you can tell, I use it a lot. We use it for everything. The other days, uh, we were making quesadillas. No, we were making longaniza. And little Mario wanted a longaniza quesadilla. And then I had like a little container of, of like sauce, like guajillo sauce, salsa. And Sofia made herself a, quesadilla, a longaniza quesadilla enchilada. She just made that up right then and there. I don't know how many I use. But I look like a hot mess. It's because I am. Okay. Sorry for talking too much. It's because... I have so many, 
so many thoughts and so many things in my head that sometimes I get like overwhelmed like shut up shut up people in my head it's like I'm always talking to myself but even when I'm talking the person in my head is still talking so then I need to take a breather or else I'll never stop talking and it's like it's like a good thing because I never feel alone but then it's a bad thing because I feel like I talk way too much maybe you know what I mean so anyways I don't know but I don't think I'm that ugly without makeup so for the meat very very important mm -hmm. for the you need the esmio de res like the chunky one it's called beef chuck roast so I got this one, right? This is the one from the store, like the Mexican store. Dios mío. And so the Chamorro is the beef shank center. This is what this looks like. And I also got some costillitas bone in beef chuck short ribs. Ribs. I forgot to give you guys one more ingrediente. Horse, my little horse. It doesn't even smell. Well, that's why you crack it. Um, cinnamon stick. So I want to make um, birria for her so she could eat the consomme. So the original consomme, consomme is like the, you know, when you make like a dish or whatever, it's like the juice, you know, the special juice, the consomme. It's full of vitamins and it will bring you back to life. It's made out of chivo. How do you say chivo? Lamb? Yeah, it's made out of, no, goat. What the fuck is the difference between, no? oh yeah. So lamb is una and goat is the other one. So the original um, birria comes from goat. But I ain't gonna eat no goat, the fuck? <laughs> First, because I don't even know where I would buy goat. Second of all, I'm like traumatized with goat. Because every time we would go to Mexico, they would like hang a goat by his neck. Like this with a rope. And hang it on, on a tree. And then they would like go like this to his vein. And then the goat, the poor goat would spin. It would spin and like. Not like this fast, but like spin and then like blood would be like shh. And I think somebody would leave a bucket right there. They wanted to, I don't know what they use the blood for. Cuajada, I don't know what, they call it a name, but yeah. And I was like, oh hell no. And they would always tell me my uncles and my abuelita, my grandma, she would be like, don't look at the goat. Don't name the goat. Don't love the goat because it's going to die slower. Some shit like that. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh my gosh, why is the hair down? I fucking know, I fucking know. But this is what I do. This is what I does. Okay. So the word. Didn't I say I was going to give you guys like a history lesson and shit? So birria comes from the Mexican gastronomia. Gastronomy? And it means um, delicious dish full of flavor tradition and culture that's what it means and it's so true because this is what it is all this is culture like if i had a goat right here they'd be like this this is the meat that you fucking spaniards gave me your fucking conquistadores gave me and look what i'm gonna make with it motherfuckers look what i'm gonna do don't believe me just watch bitch okay so in the 16th century the spaniards conquistadores went to mexico and just took over that shit like they just said you know what what the fuck is up we are fucking spaniards and we're gonna run this shit and you guys are gonna be our bitches so not only did like they get there but they took a bunch of animals with them like pigs and um goats and shit and the pigs were all right because you know 
they're pigs. But not only they brought their religion, but they brought a bunch of their fucking diseases. And it was like a clash for the natives. Because, you know, they were used to, like, their seeds and their crops and their shit. And then all of a sudden, these conquistadores roll up and they make them, they made them their slaves and they made them work and they just changed their whole diet, their religion, and they overworked them. So one animal that the conquistadores, the Spaniards gave, or yeah, gave to the natives was the goat. Okay, so this is the chamorro. This is what it looks like. This is the huesito. This right here, when you cook it, you could suck that shit. Okay, so the Spaniards gave the natives a, a goat, but it was with a double standard. Like they had a, tenían una plan. Because when you cook the goat, it has a distinctive smell. Not only that, the meat is hard. And the older the chivo is, the harder it is. And back then, um you know how the natives had like their land and all their shit they got like a gang of fucking goats like i don't know if goats fuck a lot or like bunnies but it turned from like 10 goats to like fucking hundreds of goats and if you don't know goats eat everything not only do they eat ass they eat shoes they just fucking don't give a fuck so when they had their crops you know the natives had their crops and they had their seeds and all their good shit, the, the goats just, just took everything. Like, they left the natives with nothing. Um, and that's fucked up because you would, th you would think like, oh, well, why didn't they, they build a, a fence? Or why didn't they kill the goats and this and that? Why didn't they chase the goats? Well, the natives weren't allowed to ride horses. They weren't allowed to have any fire. They weren't allowed to do a lot of shit. They had a lot of rules. So all they did was work and work, and then they would get fucked up. Because you know, that's what people do when they're having like a bunch of problems. And you would think like, oh, why don't you plan stuff? Why don't you try to become better? Now, nah, fool, like when you're going through some bullshit like that, imagine you're living in your fucking land, doing your thing. Yes, you're fighting other tribes and you're fucking getting down. But then these motherfuckers come with like their fucking diseases and their other religion and all this bullshit of course they're gonna get fucking like it's like what the fuck and then there's this fucking goat that they want you to eat but you know what the mexicans were like savage scared way give me that fucking goat because they now they needed to survive now it's like shit this is getting for real for real so they got like all these spices that's why birria has a bunch of spices because they wanted to mask the smell of the goat the goat meat so they put a they made like a, a oven but under the ground i don't know if you guys seen them but i've seen them in mexico so they get they made it they put it under the ground with rocks and shit like a real oven but like a homemade oven in the dirt but it's still clean you know it's it's not like fucking dirt in the fucking food so anyways and they put a bunch of spices and chingo de chiles y que chingue su madre and they told the the fucking they proved the fucking Spaniards wrong. Like, yes, bitch, look at me. You give me some fucking stinky goat, and I'll give you some fucking bomb ass, delicious birria. Vamos a tener una pinche birria, hijo de su puta madre. And this was in Jalisco, Ocula, Ocula, Jalisco. So, yes, yeah, that was the birth of the birria, and now fucking birria is fucking everywhere like you can't go to one corner without seeing birria quesa birria and fucking birria birria everywhere it's like suck the birria thick but if you, they knew that birria's beginnings came like out of desesperamiento you know they were desperate they just wanted to survive they didn't have their crops anymore so they had it was survival food like survival food is now like the most popular fucking food. That's so beautiful. That like gives me the fucking chills, bro. Like I don't even have a lot of hair. I have a little bit of hair, but that just gave me the fucking chills. Like to see that, you know, you know they're going through such hard time 
and they just didn't get booked and they made it happen and now it's like so and like it's i don't know i don't know how it's not like mandy what? what's the what's the difference like let's say you know how you say worldwide See? but not worldwide just in the united states nationwide 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 is on your side no like virya's fucking nationwide thank you baby fucking beautiful so por eso tenemos que celebrar esta comida y hacerla con gusto and yeah you can support other motherfuckers doing it or whatever but make your own bitch be like yeah look this is what, this is what these people went through and i'm gonna eat these spices have a fucking meaning and have a, a story behind them this is not just spices this is fucking history this is culture this is a lot and i need to shut the fuck up because this video is not turning into something else the truth is the truth no and a lie it's always different a lie you forget what you lie about or you just make some shit up and it, and it comes out different but the truth is a fucking truth so no la puedes inventar por eso that's the difference between the them two shits that's what i fucking try to tell you pero no me haces caso tu piensas que you can get away with it you think you're a good liar but you aren't because every liar gets caught sooner or later and then once you're known as so lo que vamos a hacer you know what it's because it has blood you know and the blood it gives it a little, a little smelly smell smell it's not a big deal, but you know, just because you want the flavors of the actual salsita to come out, it's better to clean it. And I'm not like the cleanest bitch in the world. I'm kind of like, I'm gonna describe myself like, I'm a clean, dirty bitch. Like I like shit clean, but I'm also dirty because soy como like, I don't give a fuck. So I don't know, I'm a clean, dirty bitch. I'm a dirty clean bitch. So I'm just gonna let the meat drain. And look at how fucking beautiful it looks. Mira que chula. We're gonna use the molcajete to put the dry ingredients. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's put ourselves in like the native heads. Like, let me throw this bitch in there. So this goat, no, not that much, bitch. But I love cumin, that's me. You know what I'm saying? So what can we use to cover the smell of the goat? Hmm. Pues comino, a huevo, güey. Es que el comino, it smells like armpit. Yeah, I put a lot of fucking, a lot of cumin. I think that I, I got a little crazy with it. But it's okay. That, But you need whole cumin. You could buy powder cumin but it's not the same because if you buy the whole cumin and then you smash it up it brings out the the umph the flavor the smell and that's what we want but don't use that much use, use half of what i was using i'm just a little crazy i get a little excited because i'm like i'm just gonna imagine them like the natives so that's my left hand but I'm not left handed I'm gonna use my right hand Next yeah. okay bitch so now we're gonna put the clavos I don't know I'm not a big fan of clavos but I know they're important for this bitch so we're gonna throw them up in that hole so like this the thing is, just put them on front and kind of scrape that shit. Well, I don't know. Everybody does it different. Some people like to, like, when they push it, they like to, like, push it down like this. That's how my mom likes to do it, like this. I kind of like to move them around. And then bring it back. Because see these little rocks? That's what they're there for. They're there to like make things smaller, like help them scrape. At least that's what I think. I don't know. 
last but not least, the black peppercorns. We're gonna add like that much. I mean, these black peppercorns, they don't make anything bad. It's like pepper makes everything good. If they don't got pepper, it doesn't. Fuck, I don't know what rhymes with pepper. Selector. Inspector. If it doesn't have pepper, it won't pass with the inspector. Look at them shits turning white. So same thing, chicken wing. No las vamos a moler para que estén buenas. I don't know, but these remind me of ciruelas. So, in Mexico, my grandma used to make this drink. I don't know what it's called. But it's like um fucking ciruelas secas, dried ciruelas plums but they don't look they look like this but little as fuck and like really dry but then they would make magic with it i'm telling you mexicans make magic with food it's like out of like some crappy ass dry ass plum they made some bomb ass drink i don't know what it's called but it's bomb <laughs> sofia what's wrong with your dry ass bread no, but it hurts when I chew it. It hurts when you chew it. It's okay to have fucked up cinnamon rolls. As long as you don't give up. Okay. As long as you don't break your muelas. You know? And if it hurts when you chew, just know that it was your fault. Because I didn't make them. What do you think went wrong? I think I left the bread to stay for too long because the dough was hard. Um, I don't know, but I don't know when they make dough, le echan un polvito. Like, polvito de hornear. So we're debating the chile guajillos, my favoritos. Um, I'm still going to make some motherfucking lipstick that says guajillo color. And it's going to be like this. Because this is the red that I like for my nails and my lips, huh, Sofia? Yeah. And then, like, neta, neta, I'm, like, so inspired right now. Okay, so now we're going to toast the chiles. Nomás le voy a poquita aceite, like, that much. I know. Se me sube el colesterol, mamacita. Y nomás vemos que se caliente un poquito. But don't get on fucking not too hot, because then it's going to go bad. We're going to poner los chilitos. Like, not, como se dice, don't like just throw them all in there because we really want to get the flavor. You know, we're not trying to, this is not a dish where you're like, oh my gosh, we need to hurry up. Unless you do need to hurry up because like, como se dice, you have like a timeline or some shit or like an appointment or, or whatever. But usually you should have, my mom would always tell me, you have to take your time when you cook and I'd be like, no, hurry up, hurry up. No, but now I see that it does make a difference. Like, we ate guilotas the other day. Usually, me, I take, like, I'm like, hurry up, hurry up. Because it's like a bird, right? And she did it so slow. With so much tender, loving care. They came out so good. Una salsita. And I, I just wish... I could give peace to my mom's heart. It's so fucking hard. You guys could smell this shit. But... Huele como a... It doesn't even smell hot. Like, you don't hear nobody coughing up in this bitch. It's like... Mexico, like the... No sé. Como... Como mole. Como... Like... Mandy, what does it smell like? Like mole. love. It smells like mole, huh? See. Sí. And we're gonna do the same thing with the chili guajillos. Goddamn, goddamn. Don't toast it a little bit. We're gonna add some aguita. This, like so. Two cups or... I'm gonna get half of the onion. Y la voy a cortar toda, así como yo puedo. A ver. Oh, no, this has to be flat. Come on, Erica. 
Come on, motherfucking bird. Bird with the fucked up hair. Bird with the hair everywhere. So, así soy yo, wey. Soy media pendeja, media cresta. Can I fucking do? What can I fucking do? I'm talking about oh, cursing and shit. I know, like, some of you guys were like, well, you know, it's, there's nothing wrong with having some growth. Trust me, I've had a lot of growth. I don't get mad for little things anymore. I used to get so angry, like, explosion for the smallest things. And now I'm like, I could, like, meditate now. I could be in one place for a long time. Man, I'm so, like, crazy, calm. See, that's a good angle. We're gonna throw the onion, the garlic, the motherfucking canquible. I don't know what it's called. Ginger? Is it called ginger? Yes, yeah, fucking called ginger. What the fuck am I second questioning myself? Yes, I have fucking cuts in my hands. I'm sorry. Pues at least no tengo nada. Ah, yo no sé. It's fucking hard. The mejorana. We're gonna add the cinnamon stick. We're gonna add two bay leaves. We're going to add the oregano. These little bays are trippy, man. I don't know why they sell them like that, but I mean, I like it because it's like, it tastes like Mexican food. So, um, that much of oregano. Like I said, these motherfuckers were trying to mask the goat. Now we just, we just trying to make some birria, bitch. And then ginger, ya le puse o no? Ya ni sé. Ya ni me acuerdo, estoy pedo. Estoy re pedo. Where the fuck are the tenazas? So hear how the chiles look? Estén bien, like Lucy. Lucy, like your motherfucking person. Mira. See? That Lucy. That's how you know they're ready. Come on, hands. Stop being fucking stupid. Okay, there. One that's all smashed up. This one's like smelly smell smell. If that smells, this smells. So if it, this is gonna mask anything. If anything is gonna mask anything, is this one. I wish I could pick this up. I'm gonna get hit thing. I don't know how to do this. Probably call one of my damn kids. What do we do with a spoon? I can't pick up the mocajete. See? But I want to get all of it. All of this stuff. All of this stuff. It took me time, bro. To get all of it. Shit. So, le vamos a echar sal? <laughs> what? You cooked your hair. You cooked my hair. I did not. Le vamos a echar sal al remix. I forgot to. Like that much. You know, um, you could put more, you could put less. I think that's enough. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, look at that beach. Damn! Look at the colors, look at the sabores, look at the cultura, the sabrosura. Bam! Oh, Mandy, get the tortillas. yo las caliento. So, vamos a ponerlo high. So, now I'm just gonna add the salt. Pa' que agarre, you know what I'm saying? Pa' que agarre sabor. You just add the salt all over the meat. Not too, not too much salt because the salsa already has salt. So, be very, very careful, you know? I don't know. If you add a little bit of salt, it's okay too because you could add it later. Okay, bitch, so we are almost done, so. So right here is the salsita, the good stuff. I blended it for like five minutos. See how it's thick, thick? That's the consistency that you want. I mean, if it's a little loosey, then it's all good, too. Right here, I was trying to record, but you can't see the part where I dip it. And this part, I learned it from Mexico, when my sister had like a, her quinceañera back in motherfucking 1900. Um... They killed the cow, right? And then they made the mix, the remix. And then one by one, each piece, one by one, 
they would mix it, get it nice and ready, get it nice and like, like this. Like I literally remember watching like a row of people doing this with a damn big ass cow. So you dip, the, dip it in the sauce and then you mix it up and get it nice and ready. This will make a big difference. I'm fucking telling you. Put some gloves on, do your thing, pull, pull your hair back, and get this motherfucker ready. I added a little bit of salt because I felt like I needed more. But that's up to you, Scooby-Doo. Watch out, look how fast I could go. So here's the birria. And we are going to cover it with um, plastic saran wrap and leave it overnight. This step is very, very important because i did it one time in the same day and it was good like i was like god damn but then one day i just left it like overnight and let me fucking tell you it makes a world of difference it is worth it it's worth the two day whatever thing and then you could just wake up the next day and do it really quick and everybody be like oh my gosh you woke up so early like yeah so and then over here i have the extra El que me sobró. And this one you could actually put it in a Ziploc. Okay, so así se mira la birria. Mira que delicia. Ahora sí, Sofía. You're gonna get a man, have a man hat. Just watch. And you could smell it. Mmm, smells delicioso. I can't wait for everybody to try it. Look at that shit. Mira que chulada. Oh, my life. So aquí tenemos como unas. I didn't, even, I didn't even count how many pounds. But pues, you know, I'm a motherfucking scientist. So I know how much it goes. So let's do this, Sofia. Okay. So, le vamos a poner pressure cook. Because we want lots of pressure. Y le voy a poner two hours. And then I'll check it. And if it's not ready, then pues, le ponemos más. But if you could also do slow cook, I think. I'll check the per pound thing with Jiggy. No se mira, but there's like vapor or steam coming out of that bitch. You always have for the um, Instapot, you have to let that shit out first. Because I know back in the Disney, the Instapot, like the pressure pots, they would fuck up people, bruh. Like, they would leave people with big ass burns and shit. Ahí estamos, ahí estamos, ahí estamos. Ya pasaron las dos horitas, two hours later. Let's open this bitch. And as you can see, it's easy for me to open it, even with my fucked up hands. And there we go, yo. Damn! Está nice and juicy, nice and tender. This is what I'm talking about. Back in the day when they had their um, horno, you know, their oven under the ground with the rocks, they had to wait like a gang of hours, I bet. But with this Instapot, gee. And then it says right here that you could make some cake too. It says right here that you could make some cake too, so I don't know. Ahí está mi Sofía con su invention. Yes. Es un pambazo de birria con purple cabbage. Cabbage. And Sofía, she did it on her own. Yes. So proud of you, baby. Thank you. Super, super proud of you that you came Cross up with yes. your own stuff. A ver, close up, close up. Damn. Bitch, so there's my pico de gallo. I made it my damn self. Mi sofillita, la tortillita, putting the final touches on it, limón, sal, and oregano on that ass. Sabes que falta el chile, pero así, ¿verdad? Sí. Aquí está el chorizo en sus Jordans. Mira, chingata algo, pinche chorizo. Es que me hacen las tortillas. Ahí está, te faltan las tortillas. Y un spoon. ¿Cómo oh, vas a comer? No, ok, ok, no, cara. No, no te, no te salió la cara, no te salió. Es que luego se enamora. Más ahí te salió el pinche chorizón. Bien, luego se enamora y no me cortó el pelo. Ah, mira ese Mario. ¿Qué vas a comer? ¿Qué es eso? Es un saco. 
Quesadilla. No, I'm getting a chaga. What is it? It's the quesadilla. Ay, qué chulo. Dame un besito, papá. Yeah. I love you forever. Show them your hair. Damn, clean cut. Finally, finally. It's time for the tasting test. After all these tears and, no es cierto. Hicimos un desmadre. Me and my girls, we make a desmadre and then we clean it up. And then we make another desmadre. But it just means that we cook, huh, Sofia? Yeah. Sofia, yes. what is the vibe today with the makeup? I'm not sure. Rainbow. Rainbow with cloud and sun. So anyways, we have to show our food. So my favorite, favorite part of the birria, of course, my little horse, is the consomme. I wish I made this I am waiting. Let me show you guys what we're going to eat. Look what we made. <laughs> <laughs> se me va a caer esta madre por estar de mamona. Sofía, si se me cae, don't, don't shoot me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Your poor dad, when he saw me eating, he was just like... But he's like... Anyway, you can start eating whenever you want. Okay. So what you do, Sofía, is you did the damn thing. Así. Like that? Así, le hacen, oh my god, very we're gonna get some berry, guys. Sophia, what do you think? I love it. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend it to the fellas? I do. Okay. No, fuck. It's just the table. Wow. I'm even eating my damn hair. <laughs> This is fire, even my freaking hairs are in my mouth. And it's messy. Well, I always get messy because I eat with my hands. And I always touch my hair. And I always have food in my hair. Mandy and Mario are like the, the nice, clean ones. And then me and Sophia are like the, the mess in the house, huh? See? Yes. Why can't you say yes? <laughs> <laughs> and then little Mario, he's like the clean one too he's a clean one lazy though huh. really lazy so we are hate him why does the little mario do this why does little mario do that what if, if i help why can't little mario but then i tell little mario little mario can you help me with this or can you help me with that and sophia runs <laughs> runs in front of him he says no i got it because you can't do it right that yeah, makes no damn sense. Have you ever ate birria from Mexico, Mexico? That's just crazy. We used to go to the bailes and like going in, and it was outside, and, but just walking in, you could smell the birria, you could smell the goat. Like it has a really strong smell. And I remember, so Polly, there's, there's a secret. Um, they give two garlic heads to the goat to eat before like an hour before they kill the motherfucker so supposedly he eats it and he's all garlicky from the inside which is kind of creepy but anyways i'll shut the fuck up thank you everybody for watching shout out to all my bird gang 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 motherfuckers peace and motherfucking love ¿Cuál de los dos amantes sufre más penas? El que se va o el que se queda. El que se queda se queda llorando. Y el que se va se va suspirando. Sofia, you need to learn some um, Spanish. Okay, so mijo. you can sing with your mama. Mama. Me sabe mucho español.